Hello everybody, I'm here with tutorial number 9. I am just going to revisit functions for those who didn't seem to get what I meant the first time I did this. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to f use the Pythagorean Theorem. I'm going to give the uh, side A and C and uh, we'll make it tell me what side C is. So let's get started. Make a new project. I'm just not, not going to bother naming it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Let's wait for it to load. Yeah, my computer's running really slow right now. But um, I'll 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 figure this out. Let's let's hurry up and get this done. Come on, I'll go ahead and pause until it's ready. Okay, now that it's loaded, we're going to make a total of three labels. Label one, uh, label two, and label three. Now, put label one here and give it a text box. Now, place another text box right underneath this one. Then place label 2 right there, where there's a pink line. Then put the third label right there. That's going to be our answer label. This label changes text side A. This one changes text for side B. Now, create one button and resize it to where it fits this text box. Now, let's resize the form. I do like that. That looks, that looks pretty good. So, right click the form and hit view code. We're going to be presented with, when it finally loads, as you can see, an empty screen. So, what we're going to do we're going to type in friend function find side C. And we're going to need two inputs, right? So we're going to take input one by val or by variable. Let's call this one side A. And we're going to make it a double. If you remember, doubles, hang on, doubles are used for math calculations and by val side b as double and the function is going to return a double so if you know the Pythagorean theorem you know it is a squared plus b squared equals c squared which means the square root of a squared plus b squared would equal c so Let's define a temporary value. Dim, which is defined, temp val as a double, which is going to equal side A squared plus side B squared. Now, this next step is going to be a little confusing for y'all. Well, for you that may not understand what I'm doing. We're going to say, well, we already know temp val has a value of basically a squared plus p squared. So temp val will now equal the square root of itself. Basically, it's going to take the value it already has and find the square root of it. And now we're going to return that value back to the user. So that's about it. A function will take in. Well, actually, that's optional. A function, when it's called, will return a value, whether you input stuff into it or not. So, in this case, you put in two things, and it returns a value to you. So, let's, let's put this in effect. Double-click your button. Go back to your design. Double-click the button. Now, let's see. Hang on a second. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to say label 3 
text, which is the answer label, is a text box one dot text and side B is text box two dot text. Now I'm gonna hit enter and as you can see there's a couple errors here. These will most likely not happen to you. I have some options set somewhere that makes this happen. This is probably not gonna happen to you. But if it does, just follow what I do. Go to mouse, you're gonna put your mouse over this and hit replace. Mouse over this, hit replace, and then do it once more for the big thing. There. Now, let's run the program. Side A, 3. Side B, 4. Hit the button. Side C is 5. A, right, a perfect right triangle, 3, 4, 5. 5, 8, whoops, 5, 8, and a messy number. So as you can see, that is what a function does. You put in values and it returns values or you just call the function and it returns a value to you if you have any questions please let me know this has been formless g4 for tutorial number nine revisiting functions i will see you in tutorial number ten